Hi guys! Welcome back sa ating series about research, chapter 1. Sa video na to, Statement of the Problem or SOP naman ang pag-uusapan natin. Previously, na-define na natin at nabigay na natin yung mga guidelines sa pagsulat ng intro, background, theoretical, and conceptual framework. Sa video na to, SOP na tayo. Pag sinabi nating SOP, Ito ay binubuo ng sub-problems at main problem. Pag sinabing sub-problem, itatanong mo yung mga demographic profile ng respondents mo, yung mga perception ng respondents mo, kung baga yung mga parts na nasa title mo, itra-translate mo na siya into sub-problems. And yung main problem, it's either mag investigate ka ng significant relationship or significant difference between or among variables. Dahil nga quantitative ang research na discuss natin sa series na to, ito ang dalawang most common na ini-investigate as main problem sa mga quantitative researches. Significant relationship and significant difference. Kailangan yung mga sagot sa sub-problems ay makapag-lead ng sagot sa main problem. Kailangan aligned sila. Kumbaga, yung main problem mo, pag down mo siya, sub-problems yung involved. Mamaya, bibigyan ko kayo ulit ng example. Start by writing a one-sentence objective for your research. Dito makikita yon. Hindi agad diretso tanong. Isusulat mo muna yung objective kung ano ba yung gusto mong malaman sa research mo. Once you're done with it, isusulat mo muna yung sub-problems mo. After the sub-problems, you state the main problem. Again, ito ang title ng research ko. Tapos, ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano ko ginawa yung statement of the problem ko. Tulad ng sabi ko kanina, you start the SOP by writing the aim. Kahit isang sentence lang na objective for your study, yun ang gagamitin mong panimula for SOP. Sa statement of the problem ko, ito na first sentence, yan yung objective ng study ko. Afterwards, in-specify ko na yung sub-problems, yung number one at number two. Kung matatandaan nyo sa video natin about conceptual framework, eto na yung sub-problems about my independent variable and my dependent variable. Tinanong ko na dito. And then, dito sa number three, ito dapat ay number three. SOP number three, is there a significant relationship between the respondent's demographic profile and their perception on spiral progression approach? Ito na yung main problem kasi nga, ang objective ko is to find the relationship ng profile ng teachers sa kanilang perception. Kaya dito ko na yun in-state sa SOP number three. And then, itong last SOP, for the sake of giving recommendation, nag-state ako ng another problem, what are the problems faced by respondents in implementing the SPA in teaching mathematics? Para pag na-complete ko yung research, aside from the perception, makikita ko rin yung mga problems or difficulties na na-encounter ng mga teachers as they are implementing spiral progression approach in their mathematics. Tandaan ha, Pag sinabi nating statement of the problem, kailangan magsisimula sa objective. Kahit one sentence na objective lang. And then, followed by the sub-problems kung saan itatanong mo na yung demographic profile o kaya yung mga independent at dependent variable mo, dapat dito na lumabas sa sub-problems. And then your main problem is whether you will investigate significant relationship or significant difference dahil quantitative nga yung research na pinag-uusapan natin. In the next video, hypothesis naman ang pag-uusapan natin. Thank you for watching! If you learned from this video, please give it a huge thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell icon. See you on our next video!